Well, 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 the untouchable Conor McGregor has fucking done it again, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not the one to deflect from what happens on my side of the street to another side of the street, so to speak. But I find it strange that the same energy don't go to Conor McGregor that went to Clarissa Shields camp and Clarissa Shields when the old man was attacked. Or when a woman is claiming to be sexual assaulted. This dude has done this not once, not twice, but three motherfucking times without even getting charged for the shit, bro. Now, what the fuck is up with that? Now, I read uh, in the New York Times. <laughs> You know, they call themselves doing an article about the shit. So I'm thinking he in jail again for the shit. But I read this shit. Conor McGregor, one of the biggest stars in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, is being investigated. Investigated over a sexual assault allegation. The second such case in less than 12 months, according to the people familiar with the matter. The most recent allegation relates to a complaint that a woman in her 20s was sexually assaulted in a vehicle parked outside of a Dublin pub last week. According to the people who spoke on the condition anonymously because of the Irish law surrounding the investigation, McGregor, age 31, mixed martial arts fighter who is one of the world's highest paid athletes, has not been charged and the police have yet to even interview this motherfucker. Wow. I don't understand this shit. No wonder why he can walk around attacking females and beating up old motherfuckers in bars and shit because they won't drink his whiskey and shit. You won't drink me whiskey? Bah! I mean, come on, man. And hardly nobody said nothing about that shit. Like, it, it, it was funny because this dude was on camera. We seen dude like sucker punch the shit out this old dude. The old dude didn't even see the punch coming. This is an MMA fighter. And this is not your average 160, 70 pound dude. I would hate to see Conor McGregor waiting on me around the corner ready to jump me and shit. And I'm way bigger than Conor McGregor. This dude is lethal was a motherfucker. And he beating up old people. And now yet another woman has been forced upon by this dude. And nobody ain't did shit. This dude ain't even got arrested. He hasn't even been questioned. So how the fuck is he investigated? Nobody's even want to ask him why. Nobody even said, okay, Connor, this is another woman, man. What's up with that? They ain't put him in cuffs. I would have been hooked this dude up. They ain't do nothing. All right, now, now this, 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 this is yet another woman. You know, he's a bully. He's even bullied other MMA fighters outside of MMA. You can talk to a lot of fighters, and you'll hear some shit about Conor McGregor. I mean, actually, it's documented that he attacked the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, outside of the square circle or outside of the octagon and shit. This dude is fucking crazy. An old, wild, drunk dude. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he a thug, man. Hey, this shit got to stop, bro. But only the difference between him is that he ain't being touched by nobody. Nobody's locking him up. And they're not really investigating. I mean, the other sexual assault that just recently happened, he, you know, that, that didn't go nowhere. They, they didn't even do nothing to him. I mean, what do you got to do? Attack a baby? Catch a body or some shit? I mean, what do this dude got to do to get locked the fuck up for what he did? I mean, I know he's a, I guess he the can, man. I guess anybody can get it with him. But one thing I don't go for, man, is you don't, I, I, you know, I don't take too kind for sexual assault, period. You know, whether it's a pedophile or a rapist. You know, I, I, you know, I used to work with uh, sexual assault victims and shit. So, you know, I, I kind of got a special place in my heart for that. You feel me? So. I don't I don't really like hearing shit like this, bruh. And then to hear that this motherfucker don't even get charged for it. Why is you out here trying to take pussy for any man? All the money you make, bro, you don't have to take pussy. 
you can you can buy some all that money you got. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of money. You can get them drunk with your whiskey or something. Yeah, you know I mean other influences you can do is besides bullying them and assault. This dude is a savage, man. I know a lot of y'all still fans of Conor McGregor, but you gotta st- sit up here and think about it. All these people accusing him. It's easy to dismiss it when you're a fan of somebody or you respect somebody. Just like with the R. Kelly situation, people still love his music. Which I got to be like, dude, how could you sit up there and listen to a motherfucker or, or stand behind a motherfucker that you know is guilty of doing something? You know, it, it's, sick. it's sickening, man. It's, it's pure sickening. Now I got to say it's something wrong with you if you still support this motherfucker for the stuff he's been doing, man. I mean, you can keep yourself out of trouble easy. Don't you got an old lady? Why is you out here doing this, man? Don't you got a family, bro? Like, don't you care about your family? Is your mental health okay? Do you need counseling? Therapy? You know, you need some good old-fashioned incarceration. and You know what I'm saying? That's what's what's needed. But to be privileged enough to walk around free as a bird... After doing all these things, back to back to back to back, tell us about society today and how people are not treated equally or fairly, especially the victims. I'm out, man.